Today, I am doing a tag. My YouTube BFF Kelly over at Freedom in a Budget. Tag, did I just say budget? Budget. Budget. My YouTube BFF Kelly over at Freedom in a Budget just tagged me. So I am going over her five question tag. And I am going to tag our life on a budget because she's awesome and she deserves to be tagged. Although, Angie, I know you plan your videos way, way, way in advance, so I apologize for that. But, you know, whenever you can get it on the calendar is great. And then I am also going to tag Money Mom, who is Dawn. And Dawn, I know you aren't a Dave follower per se, so, and you're not technically on the baby steps, but most of these questions you can answer. I will link all of their channels down below. If you don't know any of their channels, go check them out. They're wonderful, wonderful people. Five questions. Question number one, how did you originally hear about Dave Ramsey and what were your initial thoughts on him? So I don't actually know if I've ever really told this whole story, but Mauricio and I were living in Baton Rouge and we were struggling financially. I mean, really, really struggling. He was brand new to the United States and didn't speak English and it was really hard for him to find a job. He actually had some some pretty bad racial hate in the beginning when he was trying to find a job. Um, it's a long story that I will probably do a video on someday, but it's just, it was really, really rough in the beginning and we struggled. We were really struggling and we bought a house. We shouldn't have bought a house. We know that now, but we did buy a house and our house had some massive problems and it involved fraud. We were in bad financial shape, really bad financial shape, barely making ends meet, having to borrow money from my parents to survive. It just was horrible. I was up in DC visiting, I probably at a work meeting, I don't remember why I was up here. I went out to dinner with my friend Wendy and she was telling me about this guy, Dave Ramsey. And I had never heard of him, didn't know anything about him. And I was like, huh, that sounds interesting. And I came home from dinner and was talking to my mom about Dave Ramsey. And so my mom went out and actually purchased the book for me and gave it to me as a gift. And I read it in about seven minutes. <laughs> I, I read the whole book in like one evening. It changed my life. And so I told Mauricio that I thought we should do this. I was ecstatic. I signed us up for financial peace. But at that point in our lives, Mauricio wasn't ready to get out of debt. Oh, if we had gotten out of debt, then our lives would be so different now. But we didn't. And so, you know, there's that. It took a while to get Mauricio really on board with doing the program. But I did start budgeting at that point. So I've been budgeting since then. And that was 12 years ago. We'll call it half-assed budgeting because up until I started the plan this time and I started using every dollar, I never reconciled. So if you're not reconciling, it's a game changer. Not even joking. Question number two. What is the craziest financial advice someone ever gave you that you had to shrug or laugh off? I think all financial advice, I, you know, I, I don't really shrug it off. Everybody has got their own opinions about finance. If you look at every single financial plan out there, I mean, all of them, Mr. Money Mustache and, you know, all of the different ones. I don't know why that's the only one I can think of. See, even Sue Zorsman, who has been largely discredited, if you look at their plans and you decide that's the plan you're going to work and you just stick to that plan, you can do it. You can do whatever you need to do financially. So it's, it's a matter of picking a plan and sticking to it. Now, ridiculous financial advice. People telling me that I'm always going to have a car loan. I'm not always going to have a car loan. I'm going to have a car that I have saved for. And that is the way it's always going to be. Um, that you can't live without credit cards. I absolutely can live without credit cards. I have not had a credit card for years. And we do just fine every month. That you can't go to school without a school loan. Uh, yeah, you can. Because we're going to do it. And Mauricio is going to do it. So... You know, you'll see. 
I'll show you. Number three, what is the hardest place that you had to give up shopping or eating at? I don't know that I've given up anything. We definitely don't eat takeout like we used to, but I meal prep and I don't miss it that much. I don't get to go to Sephora like I used to. I love Sephora. I did shop a lot at Sephora before and now I only buy the very minimal what I have to have sort of things, but I still spend money at these places. I just don't do it ridiculously. And I don't know that I ever did because like I said, we've been on a budget for like 12 years. So yeah, we've always we've always gotten to go shopping. For me, the thing I miss the most is traveling. We don't travel anymore. We used to travel all the time. So that's what I miss the most. It's not shopping and it's not eating in restaurants. It's traveling. Number four, what baby step are you on and how long have you been there? We are on baby step two and we have been there for two years and four months. And we have probably another two and a half years to go but we're paying off $350,000. That's a lot of debt. And number five, what is something you want to do when you are on baby step seven? I want to travel. I want to have a travel fund where we have like $50,000 in the account and we travel off the interest. So our trips never cost us any money. And I want to travel. I want to have fun and and see the world and take Melina and see different places and experience different cultures and eat different food. I want to do that. I want, I, that is probably the biggest motivator for me because taking debt-free big vacations would be so cool. Like Mauricio wants to go to Italy. I want to go to Greece. I want, I can't even tell you. I want to go to Madagascar. I want to go to Australia or New Zealand. I want to go to Japan. I mean, I want to see the world. That's what I'm looking forward to. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.